Welcome back to episode seven of Survival of the Fitted. You're chilling here with your boy, Intern Joe, AKA Pandemic Poppy. And we're live with none other than Ian Pierno, AKA Poppy Pierno. Ian, talk to us, man. What's going on? Well, before we get started, I was, did, did you give yourself a nickname? I get, I'm going to start giving myself a nickname every single week from now on. Starting starting week seven, I will be I will be officially having a different nickname for the rest of the season. That's going to be great when we're on episode 2000 and we can just yeah. make like a video of you just being like, AKA Pandemic Poppy, AKA Intern AKA, Joe, yeah, yeah, AKA yeah. whatever, whatever. Um, yeah. What's up, folks? Um, that's what we say now. Isn't that what Bugs Bunny says? Space Jam, yeah, something that's like that? Space Jam vibes. But we have, yeah. a, we have a really good... Well, let's, yeah. truth be told, we don't really have the first third of this planned out. We're trying to do this no. on the fly. We have a great... We have a great interview, though. We have a really good interview. It's with Dijanae Carrington. She's on the Connecticut Sun, and she's way better at talking about clothes than we are. So we're not going to do the thing where you guys listen to us bicker for six minutes and then have the interview. You guys are just going to listen to it now. So let's let's get started. All right. Yo, go follow Survival of the Fitted wherever you get your podcasts. And then have three of your friends follow the podcast. And then have three of their friends follow the podcast. And then boom, it's the League Fits Pyramid. Yo, we out here with DJNA Carrington. What's going on? What's up, y'all? I'm excited to be here. That's what's up. And like before we get started, you know, we're going to ask questions, all that. I just want to say, like, I'm sorry. I felt like we've kind of been sleeping on you up until like super recently. So it's perfect that you're coming on the podcast right now. And <laughs> I, I just, I just wanted to say that. Hey, you and, said it, not me. Y'all heard it. He, he said it, not me. <laughs> yeah, it, it's better that way, you know, because like you wouldn't believe how many like ball players, whether it's W or NBA, hit the DMs and like you're sleeping on me. And I'm like, are we? Oh. Like, if you have to say it, are we? Right. Um, can't name no names, but <laughs> before, before we get started, I think the best dressed teams in both basketball leagues, the NBA and WNBA, are the Sun and Suns. Um, you guys have a little okay. roster yourself, you, Jasmine, and then of course they got Book and CP and Phoenix. Yeah. What would you say, can we crown what the best dressed team in basketball is right now? I can't use my team. You absolutely can. Oh, well, period. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, even though like some people don't dress up every game, yeah. I think the people that do dress up make up for the people who don't. You feel me? Right. So it, it exactly. all evens out. You got to have like uh you can have like a big three car- carry a team like right. on the court and you could do that in the tunnel too. Exactly. We hold our own weight. <laughs> Facts. All right. So the real question is, is the WNBA the most fashionable league in the world? I mean, who would you consider our competition to be? Who would you consider your competition to be? <laughs> yeah, that's hard. I mean, obviously, you got the NBA, you got the NFL. Um, NFL is really like when they're getting on the plane. That's where they do their drip. Yeah. Um, yeah. Soccer, women's soccer league. They do well, but I don't think that there's as much versatility as the W has. So, yes, we have the league. I feel that. I feel that. Absolutely. So um, we're filming this on Thursday, July 15th. This will come out Tuesday. But yesterday was a WNBA All-Star game. Mm-hmm. And they had the orange carpet. Lots of good fits. Any any thoughts on what you saw last night? Yeah, they did have some good fits. There were some that were calm. Some that were a little, a little much, in my opinion. But I think <laughs> <laughs> everybody stuck to their, their own, you know. Low identity. So I thought it was cool. I think they looked good. That's what's up. I was there. I saw them in person too. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. You have access. Subtle flex. I see you. Yeah. Subtle. That's a, that's a hard flex. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> wait, what's, what's your first WNBA all-star fit going to look like? Cause you kind of seen like, you know, the do's and the don'ts. Like, so when you get into the all-star right. game, what is your fit going to look like? You know me, I'll probably like dress it up, up, up because that's just who I am. But I, when I went yesterday, I was real calm. I had some jeans on, like I made my own shirt. I tied two bandanas together and I made my own shirt. It was pretty tough, not gonna lie. And then I had on the Travis Scott um, dunks. 
So it was just a little, little this, little that. But when I'm actually playing in it, I'm a, I'm gonna be dressed to the nines. Okay, so okay, let's bring it back though, because we're in the WNBA. I personally live in the Bay Area. I know Stanford is like. 30 minutes right away. There. It's like some like mythical place that like none of my homies have ever been to. We don't know what goes on over there. It could be Area <laughs> wow. 51 for all we know, right? Mythical. So you obviously, okay. yeah, mythical. So obviously <laughs> you hooped at Stanford. What's the fashion scene like at Stanford? Because I feel like, is it just like suits and briefcases? Like what goes on over there? Like, There's no fashion scene at Stanford. <sighs> so whatever you're thinking, you're right. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever it is. It's khakis. And oh. yeah, Sperry's, you know, the preppy. Did you ever buy in? Like, t- tell me, you were, even if you didn't rock them, did you ever like buy like a pair of wallabies? <laughs> no, but I went to private high school and we wore uniforms. So oh, okay. I, in high school, I wore Sperry's and, you know, we had the vest and the skirt and the button up, like all of that. But when I have my own choices, no. Word. So, so if you yeah, ever okay. wait, if you, if you ever do us wrong, I'm gonna go find those pictures of you wearing Sperry's at high school, and that's our little blackmail. Okay, hella blackmail, oh dude. No, <laughs> because it was so bad, you guys. Like the glow was real because my socks used to be like <laughs> they used to be high. That's all I'm gonna say. Please don't find the photos. <laughs> We're definitely finding the photos. We have to find those photos. I'm oh already my goodness. Embarrassed. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So you, so you, you were in the uniform in high school, right? Yes. So when you get to Stanford and you see everybody who's just dressing so lame, how do you, how are you, how are you like dressing a class? Are you buying into that? Are you like just stepping out going crazy? Like, what is it looking like? Oh no. I wore like a fit every single day. Like Mm. even when I didn't have class because all the athletes, we had breakfast together at Stanford. So I was like, well, I need to come correct every single day. So I wore a fit. I would wear dresses and um, like, I mean, it was warm California, you know, so shorts and skirts and things like that. But literally I put on a fit every single day. (laughs) They hated it. (laughs) Respect. So then yes. you went from Stanford to Baylor. Like, mm-hmm. what was the fashion like at Baylor? Like a little, do you have like a little cowboy hat or like, what's good? Texas vibes. Really? really? I, that's an honest <laughs> question. I've never been no. to Texas. I did not have a cowboy hat. Um, Baylor was literally completely different. I, at least my team. So mm. I was there during COVID. So I didn't really, you know, go out or really see many people on campus but as far as like student body they dress like Stanford but when it comes to like my team my team knew how to dress like every game day they would come dressed and we didn't even like take pictures in the tunnel but they still came dressed like somebody was going to see them every day Respect. That's the best way to do it. Like you, because you don't dress for the cameras. You dress to feel good. You know what I mean? Right. Exactly. And people don't get that. People do not get that because I dress every single day to class at Stanford, and they're like, "Who are you looking good?" Like myself. Thanks. I, <laughs> I feel, I feel better that when I look better. <laughs> yeah. When I uh, what's the quote? What's the quote? Feel uh, good. I you feel look good. You look, yes. look good. Feel good. Feel good. Play good. You play good. They pay good. What's up? Deion Sanders. Um, I feel that though. I also went to a school that didn't, I went to North Carolina state. So like kind of the same deal as like Baylor, Stanford. Um, But like, if I had a test, like I was stunned. Like I, like I was fucked. I was so fucking broke back then. But like the crispiest (laughs) forces I had would come out for like the exam. Cause like, if I dress good, I felt good. You know what I mean? Like I took my SAT swaggy. Yeah. Cause I feel good. I was like, I'll do better if I like, I'm not going to feel good taking this 8 a.m. test in my pajamas. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's really funny. I never thought about dressing up for like a test, a presentation for sure. But a test? Okay. Well, it's because you dress for you. Do. It's to feel right. good. You feel yeah. good. You play good. Test good. Perform. Whatever. Exactly. Yeah. My GPA wasn't that good, so I don't know if it worked. But. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. That, that's. That. Dang, I wish I knew that in college. I probably would have did a little better if I actually dressed up. But who knows? <laughs> Bad. Did you? All right, what so, did you wear every day? Sweats. I mean, yeah, sweats. I was like, uh, yeah, like sweat slides and apps. That's basically what it was. Apps on the report card, oh. sweats on the body. It's tough, tough mm-hmm. life. 
intern Joe, it's not a good life, guys. Being intern Joe is not easy, you know. <laughs> well, that's crazy because you know I know the paparazzi follows you around campus because you're so famous We're not as so- the League Fits intern. Definitely not. So you know what's crazy? You had I never all the reason. I never hopped on campus yet. We've been doing Corona. It's like all COVID, Zoom. So we don't know. We what don't know. School? We'll see next semester. San Jose State. So it's okay, like in the Bay okay. Area. Yeah. Literally down yeah. the street though from Baylor. I mean from Stanford. Literally. Oh yeah, Stanford for yeah. sure. It's where you go when you're not good enough at basketball to go to Stanford. So the next question that we got going on. <laughs> <laughs> that's tough. That's, damn, we are roasted on my it. own show, dude. He said it, not me, y'all. I haven't said anything. <laughs> Tons of hatred, man. Tons of hatred. Okay. Speaking of dressing up for the cameras, you pulled mm-hmm. up in hella different looks this season. I was going through, there's some, there's some photos of you with like, Converse run stars on those are literally like hiking shoes like so like what goes into like <laughs> picking like those like what, what goes into like picking your fits for a pregame you want to know the truth the truth is I take a pregame nap right and mm-hmm. before I like allow myself to go to sleep I visualize two outfits in my head <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> Oh my what? God, this is so bad. In my what? head, I'm like, okay, maybe Say, God, this you look design. good. And then maybe this will look good. And then I wake up, do my makeup. And then it's like, oh, well, I have 10 minutes left to try on these two outfits. So hopefully the first one looks good. And it hasn't failed me yet. But that's literally what I do. Like, I don't try it on before. I don't try it on like, or like do anything crazy. I literally like visualize. Sometimes there's things themes that I'm going for, Mm -hmm. like when there was Pride Month or when it was um, um, Juneteenth, like stuff like that, themes. But as I don't know, I just, I just visualize and attack. So you're telling me you have a stylist and it's your dreams. (laughs) Like Lee Fitz Inception or something. What the hell? That's Mm -hmm. like, I'm actually so, because obviously, I mean, uh, Joe, I think you're probably in the same boat as me. I love fashion. Um, and I'm not that fucking cool. Like, I cannot dream <laughs> my outfits. Like, that is so <laughs> sick. That's hella hard, dude. You literally go to sleep and dream about your fit. That's tough. <laughs> Never heard that. <laughs> but, like, you know, like, I know what clothes I have. So, yeah. it's just, like, in my head, it just kind of just put things together. You get, like, hmm, maybe this will look good. Okay. Okay, we're going to okay. try it. Wait, we can't move on to the next question yet. I We need what? to stick on this. Um, <laughs> so, like... In my dreams, like I see things through my point of view, like through my eyes. So I can't see myself. So are you looking at yourself in these outfits from like the third person or like, what's this look like? Yes, I see my, like I literally visualize myself yeah. in fits and I'm like, that might be tough. And then I wake up yeah. and I try it on. It's, I'm like, but like my closet's very organized. So it. It's it's easy for me. Like if I'm thinking like, okay, I want to wear this color. Like, okay, I wore orange one day and I knew Mm -hmm. I wanted to wear orange that day. So I'm like, okay, I I know where the orange pants are. I had never tried them on, but I knew where they were. And I'm like, okay, they'll probably be long. So I'll wear some high top ones. Like that's exactly how it goes. And I just am like, okay, with the top, I don't know, something calm because I'm going to wear a bandana. Like that's... I don't know. It's weird. Wow. <laughs> well, if you ever like are feeling generous, maybe dream up outfits for me and Joe. I think we both appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, hard. come on. What the heck? <laughs> I'll like sketch Style us in your dreams, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I got I got like I got a birthday party this weekend. Like I, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna wear. If you if you yeah. dream about what I'm wearing to that party, just just let me know. I'll let you know. You gotta send me the Is vibe, that not on though? some like that's so Raven type vibe? Isn't that how it goes? Like I dream about or like you see the future and it's like she has a that's vision, hard, yeah. dude. <laughs> Whoa, it's actually wait. wild. Let's trademark this. It can be Dijon Deja Vu. Ooh, oh, that's good. Oh, that's that's actually tough. Yeah, what's up? Dijon. You came up with that right Deja now? Vu. Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> proud of you. I'm proud of you. Caption guy. You're, I'm, yeah, not, I'm, I'm, I'm rubbing off on you, dude. I'm, I'm, that's why I like that. I like that. Yeah, dog, wait, I, hold on. The captions? I'm the one who comes up with all the cool no. captions. So I'm, I'm glad no. that I'm rubbing off on you, dude. You rubbed off. That. Dog, I wrote like 4,000 Instagram captions before you were even a blip on the radar. Boy, when I started writing League Fits captions, you had you had even started puberty. Don't play with That's me. Crazy. Oh, MG, he's coming for you. This oh, episode's been coming for you, for you like me, that. Come on, I dude. know. I am bullying Joe today. 
I feel kind of bad. Right. JJ Reddick's definitely not going to follow me now. Dang, oh my man. goodness. I saw that. Don't let JJ down. That's the number one rule of podcast. Yeah, Don't let JJ down. Tough, tough, tough. JJ's Joe Shooter. Literally. Oh. Fire you shooter. love him? You love JJ? Oh yeah, this is I mean, literally the JJ Reddick fan JJ? club. Like this is 1000% JJ Reddick fan club. Yeah. Best dressed player. Period. Best JJ dressed? Reddick was okay. the... F- no. D- don't. 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 Uh, I he's hate like, hating on Joe this whole episode, but no. Come on. He's like the Michael Jordan say, of the fuck, I can't say this because JJ listens to this podcast. <laughs> Everybody You're in has trouble. their own You're in trouble. style and their own like vibe that they like and that there's a, their aesthetic. You know? Yeah. Maybe that's Joe's mm-hmm. aesthetic. Yeah. I feel like DJ Nate is probably like the JJ Reddick of the WNBA. I'm just saying. Both well, really if you good. call him the best dress, then I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's, 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 all right. Ian's let's move on. Man. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so we have a we have a reoccurring question here that we like mm-hmm. to ask all our guests, right? So if okay. you had to make a starting five, like best dress hoopers, like starting five, and you can be in it. Like I want to preface okay. that, like you can definitely be in it. So if you had to pick five best dress players, who would you pick? Okay, I'm gonna go with I can use W and NBA. Yeah. Yeah, hoop is hoop. Like mm-hmm. it's it's yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna put myself. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with yeah. Ty Young. I'm going to go show. with um, Russell Westbrook. I'm going to go with Calm, but always tough, Sue Bird. Mm-hmm. And lastly, I'm going to say... Oh, PJ Tucker. Southeast Raleigh, what you know, PJ Tucker. That's what's up. Oh, my God. I love PJ. That's a solid, that's a solid <laughs> ass Stop five. It. That's my five. Mm-hmm. That's my I five. I love PJ. No, yeah. JJ Reddy. That's crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't know if this opinion is really solid, but whatever. I have a love that's hate crazy. with PJ. Be, because of Why? PJ, I'll always be the second best dressed person from my high school. Oh, yeah, I went to the same too. high school. Ooh, see, yeah, except he's old, Yo, so not at the same time. Where, like, where do he get his shoes? Real he buys time, them. Dude. He buys his shoes. How? Like, but where? They're nowhere. Oh, I, no. he he got a different type of connect. I'm trying to get to that, pro- that level. One black day, market. Though. It's got to be like the black market. Like the same place you buy like a kidney is probably like where he buys his sneakers. <laughs> where he goes shopping, dude. I've seen him pull up in like the. What is it? The Grammy sample Yeezy ones or something like that? Those shoes are like, there's like two of them out there. Like, I don't know At, how. Exactly. That doesn't make any sense how you can like get that. I don't know. It's a different. He's different. Him and JJ is different. The cameras. I don't know how to okay. Camera. It's crazy. So you haven't had a long career so far, but you've still gotten some fits off. I've seen. I was late to the party, but I've seen. Um, is there like a favorite fit that just pops in your mind right when I ask this question that you've worn to a game this season? Um, You're like, oh yeah, I'm just so tough. I can't pick one. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Um, (laughs) That I've worn to a game. Uh, I don't know. Or maybe maybe that you dreamed of and you didn't wear yet. (laughs) Oh yeah. I can't tell my all my secrets about the upcoming fits, but no, y'all. Yesterday's fit was very tough at the All Star game. I can't find I a picture. Do you have one? Well, I didn't take a solo photo. Oh. Can you talk us through it at least? But it's tough. Okay, I'm gonna start from head to toe. All right. Okay. So obviously we got the blonde braids, right? Mm-hmm. Then we had. This eye was like blue jean color eyeshadow, and this eye was pink, right? Okay, so now we're working down. Then I had on some pink, like mini sunglasses. Um, we had gold necklace, some gold earrings. Ooh. Yes, love. That's love what they that. say. Um, okay, so then I told y'all that I had two bandanas, right? So the front one was tan, looked similar to my hair color and the back one was pink. So then I just tied them on the side and then we had on some, some, some chill jeans, chill jeans fitted, but straight leg. The front was a little bit shorter than the back. 
Then I have my Travis Scott uh, dunks on. One of the laces was tan and one of the laces was pink because mm. the tan and the pink, you feel me? Mm. It was tough. It was tough, y'all. I'm telling mm. you. Then I had the little a little Louis pouch, you know, a little more tan brown just to bring it all together. But nothing crazy. Some some gold. Nothing crazy though. And you dreamed about <laughs> you just this. like it's crazy. Yeah. Did you wait? Did you dream this outfit? Yeah, I dreamt it. Wow. <laughs> Wow. No, I dreamed I dreamed about half of it. The top that I had a dream about didn't work when I tried it on. Yeah. And literally, I was like, what do I have? What do I have? What do I have? And you know how the, the dunks have the bandana like print yeah. on them? So I was like, okay. I literally had the bandana on my head. I'm like, I could wear this. And then I ironed it and I tied them together and we called it a fit. <laughs> Damn, you you ironed it. You're like, you're you're serious I about this it. shit. <laughs> Okay. It was a little wrinkled from the fault from the tying. <laughs> Don't worry, I'd be wrinkled all the time. I hate ironing, so I'll turn. You ever done the trick where you like you turn your shower on hot and then you hang up whatever it needs to be like unwrinkled, I guess, like in the bathroom and you close yeah. the door and it gets all steamy and it'll unwrinkle your shirt. What in the world? Are I'm not you sure if that's about? lazy or like it's oh it's really lazy innovative. <laughs> It's lazy and innovative, and obviously my water is included in my utility bill, so um, <laughs> I can afford to do that. <laughs> that works. No, that part. Yeah, it works. It's but like I don't a own. Steamer, I guess. Yeah, it hits exactly like a steamer. I don't own an ironing board because I just hate doing it. Stop. That's wrong. I yeah. used to iron what? my shoelaces, dude. In high school, that was like oh, wow. Yeah. In high school, I wore a six, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so so respect. Good, no, Is this I, huh? no, you well, yeah, in high school, oh, I had a terrible day. GPA, but um, one time I was doing the steaming clothes at a hotel room in Vegas. I was there for summer league two summers ago, forgot about it, left the shower on like full heat for like four hours. Like, I left and came back, and like water was just dripping from the ceiling. And I was like, oh my god, oh. I, but crazier shit happens in Vegas hotel rooms, so I was fine. <laughs> um, that part. Um, so that part. okay, another question. We'll we'll wrap up on this one um, that we ask everyone is like you know like you probably got a blue you got a blue check you a pro basketball player you got a little clout like I know sometimes you get some packages in the mail whether it's from fans mm-hmm. or brands or whatever. What's the coolest or weirdest or dopest thing that someone has sent you? Um, we asked Austin it, Rivers this, and he said an old lady was sending his underwear, so the bar is kind of high. Uh, but it could also just be a cool hoodie. Oh wow! <laughs> I don't think I'm at that level of stardom yet, but yet we'll see. Um, we'll here's the thing: I don't be sending out my address, and I don't have a PO box, so people don't know where to send stuff for me unless I'm like. <laughs> Yes, I want this. Yeah. So I don't really know she if private. I've gotten anything crazy. She private. Or also, maybe so, like even even like a fan encounter, like a crazy fan encounter. There's been like yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy fan encounters that's been going on. Um well yesterday at the all-star game, um, while I was leaving, like I went to get food. It was like maybe three hours after the game at this point maybe four. So I'm like, okay, like it's settled. You know, people are gone. I walk out and this lady like scoops me up in her arm and it's like, oh my God. Okay. Let's take a picture. I'm like, ma'am, like, hello. Hi. Sure. We can take a photo. I'm like, did I have, I literally was like, did I have a choice or is this just happening? But oh, I don't know. It was that. It was that. I think that was a the wildest fan encounter so far because it's, I mean Connecticut's pretty mellow. Yeah. Um, when we go on the road, we usually are like in a tunnel underground or whatever when we come in and out. So there's not much outside interaction. But yesterday, like when I tell you, she like slid in, like she slid yeah. in there. <laughs> I was like, whoa, hello. hi sure let's take a photo but damn yeah you had grimy stranger fingers on your louis pouch 
Okay. Uh, did you see? Wait, wait, wait. Did they did they post the picture and tag you? Did you see it? Of my outfit? No, the the stranger. Like, as you know, if they oh. took a picture with you, they probably posted it. They tag you. And, did no, you get to see they it? have it. But the person who took it, like, it was like a panoramic photo. She was like this and then walked over here. And was like, <laughs> she came all the way around. I'm like... <laughs> Different like, angles of like grind. Turning, dude. Should I stay forward? What is this? But yeah. where no, where do you even post? Here. Where do you even post a panoramic <laughs> photo anymore? That's so like 2014. <laughs> I know. I didn't even know the iPhone still had panoramic. <laughs> That was actually the craziest part of that entire story was that someone asked to take a picture with you and then it was a panorama. Because you guys stand still. Well, I was like, <laughs> should I look around? Should I move? Because I didn't know it was a panoramic photo at first. I just thought she was just moving, trying to get angles. <laughs> it was really funny, funny, though. Yeah, it was. Well, yeah, well, yo, I just want to say thank you so much for your time. This was... This is awesome. And we're not sleeping on you one. anymore. This is my favorite one. This is my one. favorite one. And do you guys we'll say that you. every time? Hell no. Uh, hell no. Oh, I promise <laughs> you. Hell no. Hell to the no. Dreaming hell of no. outfits in your sleep, panoramic photo. Bro, this is my favorite one. We this, um I'm, what was try it? Try it. Try it. Visualize it. Like we asked, throughout the oh, week, sorry, just think about clothes. And then when you go to sleep right before you're gonna wear the fit. Just like visualize, and you'll be like, "Oh, yep, that's gonna be it." And then when you wake up, it's gonna work. I'm telling you. So that's the clip that we're gonna post on Instagram. (laughs) That's great. Bars cooler than anything I've ever said, and I'm League Fits. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much for your time, yo. Yo, that was a great interview, and uh, so y'all have been listening to Joe talk about his JJ Reddick follow for a while now. Mm-hmm. And uh, Joe, I just want to know, we recorded that podcast like last Friday, I think. Um, Thursday, I Did think. you? Yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations on being right. Um, <laughs> did you get Did you get an Instagram follow from DJ Nate Carrington? I did not get an Instagram follow from DJ Nate Carrington. And oh. I feel slighted. I feel disrespected. And I feel oh. neglected. And the reason for that is because if you look back at that interview, you couldn't help but notice that I was being boxed in. You know, I felt cornered at times, you know, it felt like it was a two on one, you know, at times. And I don't know, like, I was just like, dang, you know, it's it's obvious you guys are trying to tag team against me and it's not going to work, Whoa. you know, because I got the JJ Reddick follow and I'm manifesting this. I will get the DJ Nate Carrington follow as well. Anyway, yeah. you know, at the end of this podcast, we uh, we do a mailbag question. Um, we uh, we forgot to ask y'all. Uh, to get, send us a question. So uh, we wrote our own question. Joe yeah. wrote it. Um, Joe, introduce the question that you took so much time writing and that's why we're recording 30 minutes late today. Okay. All right. So the question that we have here today, I haven't seen this on Twitter a lot. Giannis, okay, a little black, a little, little, little background story. Giannis yep. Antetokounmpo wears black Air Force Ones to game three of the finals. Mm-hmm. Ever since he wears those Air Force Ones, they're a three and oh. My question is, does black force energy exist? Is there Black Force energy going on in the finals right now? Hell yeah. It's like, it's some like Black Force energy. It's like some Mace Windu shit. Like, this it is. is it real, really is. They're, well, they're 3 and 0. Yeah. And I think, I mean, Black Force, Black Air Force Ones are like the embodiment of grit. No. Yeah. So do you, do you own a pair of Black Air Force Ones, Ian? Yes. Truth be told, I'm not going to lie. I do own a pair of creased black Air Force Ones. Do I ever wear them out? I don't wear them out. I'm pretty sure I sent you a picture of yeah. me wearing them one time. Mm-hmm. I don't ever wear them out, but they're there. They're there to channel. They're there to channel the energy. Whenever I need to yeah. whenever I need to get in that bag, that demon time, they're there for me to have. You know, demon time. I'm able to yeah, I'm able to, I'm able to channel that energy right there. So I resonate with with Giannis, and if he gets a ring, I think the whole Milwaukee Bucks should pull up with Black Air Forces in the parade. Hold up. So, like, when you got to get, as you said, on demon time, do you, like, make, like, yeah. a little shrine? Like, you put the forces out, you, like, light some candles around it, light some incense. It's like, that's oh, that's God. what it's like? What I what I usually do, right? This, I don't want to mm-hmm. give away too many of my secrets. Okay. Secrets. I don't want to give too many of my secrets away. I'll put the Black Air Forces on. I'll put a ski mask on. And I'll put on some NBA Young Boy on YouTube, when, and I'll play it <laughs> on all, YouTube. and it all just 
on YouTube, YouTube or SoundCloud. I've, and it all comes together. It all comes together. I actually got those Black Air Forces. <clears throat> I don't want to give away too many of my secrets again. Mm-hmm. I got them at a, at a, at a what is it called? A sub, what is it called? Surplus store or whatever. Yeah. It was like a BOGO 50 deal. You buy the Black Air Forces and you get like 50% off a of Glock 19. But like I bought them and like it was what? just a really great. I'm not, I'm not, I don't give too many of my secrets away. That, they're there for me to channel. So yeah, I just, I just feel like Black Air Force energy is definitely real, dude. We need more of it. Yeah, I, ironically, my Black Forces, I like didn't buy ironically. I got them in, in college as like to have as a sneaker. Um, oh, you used to wear them for real? Yeah, like I'd wear them with like jeans and like a black denim jacket. <laughs> this was like pre league fits. This was like Raleigh, North Carolina, Ian. Oh man. Um, anyway, you you carried that mailbag segment. That yeah, that's logo black force energy. I can't wait. Can you pull up to our next pod in a ski mask? I we could, yeah, we could do that. I yeah, do that. pull up in the Black yeah. Forces. Let me, the pull ski up, mask. let me pull up the Black Forces out right now for all our YouTube. Are they that close to you? I mean, I'm right next to my You just you just keep your Black Forces like on your hip at all times. Do you see the creases <laughs> in these joints? <laughs> these the are... Johns. The Johns. Where's the Glock? Can I find the Glock? Whatever. Let's just. <laughs> but yeah, either way, Black Force energy. Let's do it. I mean, I'm here for it. All right, we're ending the podcast. We'll see y'all next Tuesday. <laughs> you know the vibes. Let's rock. Blah, blah, blah. See ya. Go follow Survival of the Fitted wherever you get your podcast. Tell them that intern Joe sent you. Click the follow button. Go follow Survival of the Fitted.